Director of Criminal Investigations George Kinoti has launched investigations into the leaked telephone conversation alleged to be between Bungoma Senator Moses Wetangula and a representative of the Dubai royal family over the fake gold scandal. And as Hassan Mugambi reports, Kinoti maintains that anyone found to be part of the fake gold syndicate will be prosecuted. Detectives from the Serious Crime Unit, the Cyber Crime Unit and Economic Crimes are working round the clock in an effort to unmask government officials, politicians and shrewd businessmen behind the fake gold scam that is now threatening Kenya's diplomatic ties with the United Arab Emirates. Director of Criminal Investigation George Kinoti told Citizen TV that his team is currently probing the authenticity of the leaked telephone conversation between a man alleged to be Senator Moses Wetangula and a gold merchant presumably from the United Arab Emirates demanding to know the status of what is believed to be a gold deal. Senator Witangula is currently out of the country on official duty and he could be among government officials who will be summoned to shed more light on this scam. Kinoti is stating that his team is also conducting a forensic trail touching on all suspected criminals within and without the country. The detectives admitting that this scam involved an intricate cartel, some within government. Kinoti stated that the syndicate involved high and mighty across the world, but he assures the country that he will nail every criminal involved in the fake gold scandal. He says Ali Zadi, a Dubai businessman, is among so many others who have been scammed by these criminals. The Director of Public Prosecution, Nurdin Haji, has directed the police to expedite investigations into the fake gold scandal implicating dubious businessmen, influential government and political leaders after the leaked audio went viral on social media. Hassan Mugambi, Citizen TV.